Mwah. What's up, YouTube? Poor Man Podcast back with another video. I appreciate the love that I got on the last video. I feel like that video is a must-see. I will be putting a link in the description if you want to check it out. It is about sugar daddies and sugar babies. And it pretty much proves everything that we were saying all along, okay? What these sugar daddies want out of a woman, he tells you uh, word for word right from the horse's mouth. Go check that out. It'll be a link in the description down below. All right, this video is going to be uh, a reaction to I am Eloho. I think it, that's how you say her name. The name is spelled E-L-O-H-O, -O, okay? I'm not sure how to say it, and I'm not going to keep trying to say it. I'm just going to leave a link to the in the description to the original video. Y'all go check it out if you want to. All right, I'm not forcing you at gunpoint. Go check it out if you want to. And I'm not trying to waste y'all time, so I'm trying to get right into the video. She, This is basically a response to the average of best viral video. You know, Kevin Samuels, this and this and that. Uh, she basically, this is this is her response to black women. Okay, I guess it's some kind of confidence boost. It's supposed to make average people feel like they're not average. All right, let's get into it. The line. Couldn't have been me. I mean the secondhand embarrassment. I, I would've I'd have been up there like with the wig I'm a ten. Without the wig I'm a ten. Lashes a ten. No lashes a ten. Makeup a ten. Wake up, go to sleep, dance a ten. What are you what happened? Uh-uh. So uh, is that real though? Is that real? Do you really wake up and and uh without your teeth brushed, you really believe you're a ten? Or are you just saying this for the internet to make other women feel like this is true are you just preying on people who are naive at this point okay and this has nothing to do with the fact that she is a black let me get right into this okay this is, has nothing to do with the fact she's a black woman i love black women me myself as a straight male as a straight black man i love black women me personally and even a lot of times when i see dudes black dudes that don't like to date black women when they say they don't like black women, is generally speaking, they don't they, they don't think the looks are bad. It's the mentality. Okay, most black men love black women. Most black men actually date black women, regardless of what you hear on the other side of them preaching this narrative that most black men date outside of their race. It's not true. Statistically speaking, the majority of black men date inside of their race because we love black women. Sometimes it's just the mentality. Okay, so when I say I'm going across enemy lines. Like I did on the last video or on um, the red pill versus pink pill video. I said I was going across enemy lines. I wasn't talking about the woman being the enemy. Okay. Black women, you ain't my enemy. Okay. I already know that. I'm okay with that. I'm not talking about the woman being the enemy. I'm talking about the mentality being the enemy. Okay. Spreading these ideas that we are the same. Because it just hurts people at the end of the day. When they realize that because eventually you're going to have to realize everybody ain't the same. Let's keep it going. What what happened? Because in my personal opinion, and I work in the beauty industry, in my personal opinion, who decides who's attractive and who's not? Who decides that? You decide that. You out here letting these niggas tell you you a five and you a ten? Why? Because they don't... Why? Why? What happened? Because y'all don't even like black women to... Well, I'll just answer the question quick. Uh, who decides... The guy who makes a hundred thousand dollars a year gets to decide. Okay, so if you want to go leech onto a guy, latch onto a guy, and leech off his resources, you're gonna have to put up with his requirements. Okay, and a lot of these hundred thousand dollars a year guys, they got some strict requirements. It's a real, it's a real knife fight out there in the market to to latch onto one of these guys. They know that. They know that they're well sought out. So they're gonna make the standard. So when you say who decides who's a 10 and who isn't? Well, the guy that you're going after gets to decide if you're a 10 or not. And regardless of what you say, everybody looks at life through a rating scale. Everybody looks at people through a rating scale. When I see a dude with a, a hoodie on and it's late at night, he walking all kind of fast and crazy, I'm going to judge him a little bit. I'm going to get on the other side of the road or I'm going to get ready to fight. It's that simple. And that's just a survival instinct thing. So people judge based off how you look. Sorry to say it, and it might not be a 10 every time. Let's keep going. To begin with, do you even like women? See, now we, I got to start asking people, do you even like women? Because your hate for women is given, you don't, you, you, don't, you don't like us at all. Like you, it's giving you not even straight. So <laughs> I got a problem with that. I got a problem with that. That's number one. 
Number two, don't ever, don't ever. Just because a man doesn't like you, you're just because you don't like her, you're not straight. If if your preference is different and you think that another person is just a six, that means you're not straight. I don't care on your worst day, on your worst days. You get up, you look in the mirror, and you say, huh, and the bitch is still a 10. And the bitch is still a 10, and who's going to tell me I'm not? And why Why aren't I? Why aren't I? Why, why I'm not a 10? Why? Because you, cause you don't like what? What about me? What happened? My nose? My, my, my skin? My hair? What? What about me is not perfect? Like, God made me. And I think sometimes people forget. Like, you do realize, like, God made us, right? Yeah, but unfortunately, he didn't make us equal, okay? <laughs> I'm 5'7". I'm not going to the NBA, okay? I'm not waiting for a call from the Lakers. I'm not holding my breath for it, all right? Why? Because I know I'm not 6'7". I'm not 6'6". And that's okay. I don't have to go to the NBA. There are other options. Ladies, if you're not a 10, you don't have to have a baller. You don't have to date a baller. There are other options. There are plenty of men that will work hard and love you, all right? So instead of me just dreaming to go to the NBA, just in like instead of you just dreaming of a baller, make dating a dude that has a million dollars, just go do something else. Date somebody else. Okay, I just started a podcast. I ain't going to the NBA, but let's start a podcast. Maybe start a YouTube channel. Who knows? All right? Ladies, if, you, if you're not a 10, you don't have to date. Stop living by this narrative that you have to date a guy with six figures, seven figures. Most people don't have that. You're really lowering the you're lowering the amount of people you can date anytime you come out with these outrageous requirements. All right? It's okay to have a person that just loves you for who you are. That's fine. You'll die you could go you could die happy with a person who loves you for who you are. You don't have to have a gazillion dollars. Let's keep it going. You realize like we're walking gods and goddesses like how am I not a 10? And and then you black on top of that? Do you know how much magic you have? Like, what makes her not a 10? What makes her not a 10? Hey, auntie. Who's going to tell? Who's going to tell me? Tell me. Tell me who's a 10. I want you. And, no, and, I've, and I, you know what? And I've, and I've watched other videos about this. And other people were saying, oh, you know, we need to just be realistic about our looks. I'm, I'm realistic about my looks. I'm realistic. I really believe this. Like, I really believe this. Like I said, wig, a 10. No wig, a 10. Lashes, a 10. Just woke up, stink breath, a 10. Like, who? What? What happened? I'm sorry. You can't, you, you gotta think so highly of yourself that these niggas on the internet, you really letting these niggas on the internet tell you you're not a 10? Why? Because you're not light skinned and you don't got European features? Because that'd be the gag. Let's talk about it. That'd be the gag. Y'all love to tell black, dark skinned women that we ain't, we ain't 10s. But then pick real average, basic looking girls from other races. And I'd be like, but she's she's beautiful. Yes. You know, I'm not going to take away from her beauty. But that's a, that's a, that's that's what? How? Who's better than me? I just don't see it. <laughs> I'm sorry. She kind of just killed her whole argument. All right. I don't even need to do. I need to say anything else to discredit what she's saying. She just discredited herself. She basically says. Other women aren't up to par with her. So that means she judges people based on how they look. All right? It's that simple. Everybody judges people based on how they look. She basically, she just said, I'm a 10. This person is. And then what she did was she started laughing it off because she knew she blew the whole, the idea. She's trying to, people be trying to sell you something. But this is just, these are the same people that say you could go and get abs in, in six weeks with this ab workout. Or, oh, check out this Lamborghini in my garage. You know them little ad videos on YouTube? I could teach you financial freedom uh, just for uh, $19.99. It's always somebody trying to sell you something. And that's what the people that focus on their delivery. When I'm telling you the truth, I can't focus on my delivery. I'm trying to tell you the truth. It's that simple. Regardless of if you think it's nice or not, it's the truth. Take it or leave it. So she destroyed her org her or whole argument by saying she judges other people. And some people aren't up to par with her. It's that simple. Sorry, y'all. I just want to share. Maybe that's that's my purpose today, just to share some confidence with y'all. 
ain't nobody better than you you a 10 you're beautiful like i really want you to go look in the mirror and be like damn you beautiful you a 10 a five you really gonna get on this internet and let these niggas really call you a five and i've seen it like she really went viral people are calling her yep stank breath and all <laughs> morning breath and all a 10 what happened baby give me a kiss because i'm 10 like <laughs> but um I, she's getting dragged she's getting really dragged she, let me see if i can um pull up a picture she's getting dragged online right now everybody's calling her ugly and the sad part is it'd be the ugly niggas calling females ugly but, <laughs> but it, that's a whole other topic yeah unfortunately we have that luxury y'all have made it that so y'all have made it that way all right man he can be as ugly as he want to be he can be as short as he want to be he can be as chubby as he want to be guess why guess why just just take a guess well because he has money all right if a dude got money he can do whatever he want to do and y'all made it that way because these are the men y'all decide to chase once they got a little money it don't matter how they look let's keep it a buck it doesn't matter how you look when you got a little money does it money tends to make everybody look a little better doesn't it especially if you're a man no huh? <laughs> doesn't it help a little bit you got a little money everything will come with the money fellas just go and chase the money all right let's chase the money everything will come with it don't worry about it ladies will come once you got the money no matter how you look you you ain't considered cute your damn self so how dare you shit on somebody else that has confidence how dare you but i want to know who are the tens who are the tens and who are the fives really break that down like who are the people that you consider the most beautiful celebrities who are the celebrities that you feel like mm, she ain't really all of that and why ask yourself stop following what everybody else say ask yourself why do i look at these features and see beauty why do i look at these features and see a five can somebody please tell me i don't like at the end there <laughs> look at mtr <laughs> i don't like that at the end there she tried to turn it into a race type of thing you know what i mean isn't that where the conversation always goes it's not about race there are plenty of tens that are dark skin there are plenty of nines that are dark skin there are plenty of eights that are dark skin sometimes it's just the mentality simply that that makes them undateable and women think that Men don't have the choice to not date. Men will literally, just, if you're not a good person, we will just not date. And you're seeing it now. Less and less marriage, more and more diver divorce. If we have the choice and we're in a miserable relationship because the woman thinks everything revolves around her and the guy doesn't need happiness, he doesn't have any standards, I could just let myself go. We will leave. Like <laughs> We will leave if we're already in one and we will not get in one if we're not already in one. A marriage. All right, y'all. So let's keep it a buck. Let's just keep keeping it a buck. Everybody ain't a 10. Till next time.